Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will learn about a new type of uh, event initiation, which is called um, uh, the Java timer. Okay, timer event. So uh, here it invokes the Java dot util dot timer class. It imports that, and these are some of the import statement we are going to use the timer task application you already know platform inset scene alert button this is a new type of class we are in a uh, we are importing that is spinner um we will see it in the later in the program then hbox and then stage let me just minimize it let's start with our program code over here so what uh, we are trying to achieve here let me run the code so here's uh, this is an application with a button so message and a j spinner this is called a java spinner so in which you can spin along with different values in it okay to the drop down so let's i'll set the value to one so what it does and it will click on so message so it pops with a new dialog box um with a message in it okay so after one the one second you know within the one second it displayed this dialog box if we change it to some other value let's say two and click on this so message it displays that uh, dialog box after two seconds have been elapsed so when you click on it uh, cancel so it cancels the page and uh, quits from there let me close it and let's start with our application code okay so first the delay variable is set to zero initially zero uh, then when we call the launch argument it moves on to the start method here and uh, this is our function uh, in it um, ui so here this is our function method so first we are creating one horizontal box to uh, have our spinner and the button as well so one um, timer instance or object is created then the spinner is created with the um, so the values are like this the in minimum uh, maximum uh, sorry the maximum is 60 and the current value when you open the application what value it should display that is your uh, 5 so that's why this is your current value we are setting it up to now first the preference width what width you want to specify for the spinner that is 80 then button is created with so message uh yeah then we are just going to uh, add everything to the root that is our uh, hbox okay the button and the spinner now um if we want to cancel the timer when the application is terminated with the cancel method so for that so set on close request we are initiating the event timer cancel so what it does um uh, it actually cancels the event when you want to cancel it okay so let me just comment it then scene is set and set title set scene and show these are the methods you already know them okay so here let's move on to our button so when you click on the button okay it should initiate a, uh, an event right so to do that the uh, yeah so this event so we need to um, add a set on action event okay so the buttons event handler we we get the okay uh, the spinner's current value with the get value method through this statement so the spinner's get value method is to be uh, is supposed to be one integer type that value current value is assigned to the delay because let's say the current value is 5 yeah so it should display the dialog box after the five seconds has been elapsed so to take this five as input the delay variable is set to five which takes the value from the skip spinner with the gets uh, get value method now the timer schedule um, method what it does to get uh, the new dialog box after this delay five into one thousand because um, after five seconds we want to display the message so that's why this is the formula for it and the new uh, timer task what it does it will invoke 
the run later method from this my timer task and it has to extend the timer task class so this will execute the task on the java application thread and uh, we saw a message dialog informing about the elapsed time to do that let's see our run method to be overridden in the run method the platform class run later method uh, is to be invoked to initiate the event so the alert is supposed to be added so which is a type of information okay and then uh, the set title so what type of uh, what is your dialog box what's the title and then what's the header let me put you up here so let's make it to one to have our uh, message box in the less amount of time so to get this alert type information you know so the set title is information dialogue and the time elapsed information that you are viewing here currently and what type of alert is it this is information alert so that is why uh, this is the alert type we are uh, creating then next um, here if the delay is one so the context menu should display um, there is a string uh, con, uh, context we are creating so it should display one uh, second has elapsed so else in any other value it should display this message along with the specified uh, value that we specify in the j spinner so let's say the value is one so it's displaying one second has elapsed uh, let's say i will make it to two so it should display two seconds as elapsed so to do that yeah so because of this we are uh, assigning a string variable up here then the alert set context it, uh, text it will set the text and then uh, alert will show and wait so we need to um, use the this function so this method so this is a new type of event that you learned up here for the for the from the java util timer class